morning everybody here from Funabashi City, Japan and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the place where I live. It's a danchi which means like flat or apart apartment complex and um, I've lived here for about six years now and it's an okay place to live. It's a uh, pretty typical housing in Japan. These places were built in the 60s and 70s to house the growing population in the post-war era and they uh, yeah they were kind of like a vision of the future I think was the idea kind of like the manufactured housing in the United States in the 50s similar I think similar idea so um yeah it's an okay place you know to live it's a bit old a bit run down but um, you know it's what we've got so um, the complex is large it's I don't know it's hundreds of households so anyway yeah just wanted to show you around um, I like living here it's okay it's like there's a lot of convenience to it I think that's one of the reasons these places were so attractive was the uh, convenience like the uh, the idea that you could just get to anywhere they were designed to be bedroom communities basically for uh, Tokyo and stuff like you'll see less of these in um, Tokyo than you will in the surrounding areas I think just because there's less space I rarely get up this early in the morning but I decided today that I could do this <laughs> but I'm tired there's a park here this this park here is not um, officially uh, it's not officially a uh, city park it's it's a part of the Danchi and it's winter as you can see from the uh, plants and uh, so things are kind of dry kind of kind of dead yeah it's been a it's been a mild winter it got cold this month in uh, mid to late January but it's been a mid a mild winter so it's not been bad at all yeah I like the brickwork here check this out I like that kind of nice and then just across the street up ahead there there's a school this is a elementary school I think they do kendo practice there sometimes and then uh I'll take you across the street here too there's a um, there's a retention basin across the street here it's uh, quite beautiful actually the sun is just rising over it let's take a look let's see if we can see that yeah, we can kind of get a view of it it's um it's a large retention basin get this off my hand here excuse me um, it's a large retention basin and it's uh, it's got all sorts of wildlife this place has got um, ducks and herons and my favorite uh, cormorants and also I love the egrets check this out I'll oh, see some wildlife here let's stand up here look at that you can hear the ducks Yeah, that's uh, across the street or across the uh, retention basin. There's a um, old folks care home. What do you call it? A nursing home, and it's a uh, it's uh, called Orange Garden. And my grandmother-in-law stayed there for a while. We once on this road here. Oh look, there's a train. It's coming from the nearby station. Um, there was once a lady here walking on this very road, and she uh, <laughs> she came up she saw us uh, Ami and I and she said uh, oh I want to sing you a song we told her we told her that we'd lived in the Marshalls the Marshall Islands so she sang us a song uh, about the Marshall Islands apparently there's some old song about the Marshalls and she remembered it yeah there's a sign for the Chosechi in Japanese a retention basin is called a Chosechi which I always thought was a, a funny word 
let me turn this around. Sorry, got to kind of manipulate the camera. Yeah, anyway, so it's it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, we don't have much interaction here, but um, when we do, it's pleasant. There's the elementary school over there, and I'm gonna come back along here. If you continue along this road here, you get to 7-Eleven, which uh, is a nice place to go. Convenience stores are amazing here. I just saw on uh, Wikipedia, uh, interestingly, the, the number of stations in Japan is, I think, 8,700 and something like that, which is a lot of stations, you know, train stations. Just an enormous number across the street here. Over on my, uh, on my left, there was a guy who uh, got in an accident. We heard it from our apartment. We were eating dinner one evening, and uh, this dude was driving in his minivan, and uh, he, uh, here's a map of the Nunchi. It says, Shibayama Danchi and I can't read that but it says inside map I can read the kanji I just don't know what they say in Japanese yeah here's north and we are where are we here we're right there that little white dot at the very edge and there's a massive parking lot over here as you can see well massive I don't know it's big and then we live in that one right there. Um, anyway, so this guy, he comes along and he's like, he slams on his brakes, screeches uh, before hitting uh, the curb, the barrier at the curb. And uh, we went out and we came down and saw him. He was all right. He didn't get hurt or anything, but it was like, the guy was really shaking up. Look, flowers. Is that plum? Plum tree, maybe? Cute little flowers. Um, and he, uh, yeah, he was just all shaken up and stuff. And he was like, we were like, are you all right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> he was like probably calling his wife or maybe the police or something. But anyway. <sighs> but it was kind of, we we never seen anything like that. Let's walk through back through the uh, the park here, and um, interestingly, the uh, area here we saw frogs. They were jumping all over this place. I'm back in that park area again. Yeah, the frogs are all over here, jumping to and fro. This is uh, this is uh, some kind of what do they call it? Pegola. Uh, they got them all over the place. And there's um, wisteria. I got a sandbox here for kids. And uh, they got wisteria here, which is kind of nice. It's like uh, these purple plants, you know, that hang down. Nice ones. And uh, they're called uh, Fuji in Japanese, like Mount Fuji. I don't know if there's a connection or not. So, anyway. Pleasant in the evening, hardly anybody about. But boy, am I tired. Anyway, just uh, wanted to give you a bit of a tour you got to see from our place, the uh, apartment. Actually, you can kind of see the building there. That one right there is the building that we live in. And then I took you all the way down and across the street to the retention basin. And uh, so that's just, that's part of a car apartment complex here in Japan. Hope it's interesting for you. And uh, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.